Can we send our love, please? Oh, yes. To Olivia yes. Munn. Yes. She announced yesterday that last April she was diagnosed with an aggressive form of breast cancer. Yeah, she underwent a double mastectomy. She did all of this stuff. All of this happened before we, you know, we saw yeah. her at the Oscars and we were like, wow, let's look at Olivia. Well, she tells her story that was such an important story, but this is her direct quote. I've kept the diagnosis and the worry and the recovery and the pain medicine mm -hmm. and the paper gowns private. I needed to catch my breath and get through some of the hardest parts before sharing. Yeah. Yeah, that was a, I'm sure it was a, a, a really just difficult decision to talk about it at all. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, so much, you, you know, when you're going through such scary things, it's hard because you kind of want to keep it mm -hmm. private. You know, I mean, everybody has different opinions. I but. think, I think one of the things about being public about something and I, many years ago, many, many years ago when I was diagnosed, I didn't, wasn't going to say anything about it and I wanted to forget about it, but someone encouraged me to say something. But the the one the down the one downside there's so many upsides the one downside is people look at you yeah. with pity yeah and I have to say for me personally that's one of the hardest looks to ever get because f someone feeling sorry for you yeah. like oh poor thing yes. is you know and they say one of the worst things you can do as a, as a parent is put pity on your kids yes. you know or say oh yeah. you you didn't ma there's there's something about that feeling that makes them feel but even a, worse but Olivia's point is look yeah. i i'm here i'm 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 ready to talk about it and it was such a um shocking a shocking story because yeah because she had gotten yeah. a mammogram which came back Negative. Yeah, totally. Yeah, completely negative. negative. And it wasn't. It was because she. And then she had um, genetic testing. Yeah, right? which was all. She was all great. She was like, "Oh, cool. I'm good for a year." And then her doctor said, "We're going to do something where they we assess your cancer risk. We're going to ask you about like your family history and when you had your period first yeah. and when you had your first child. You know, just all these things. Do the math. Yeah, eight different little factors. And when they added it all up, it turned out that she had like a thirty something percentage chance of getting it." So she was like, since your percentage, she said, if you had a 37% chance of a plane like yeah. going down, how would you Probably think about it? Probably wouldn't get on the plane. Get so go get checked. And then she got checked and then she um, ended up having breast cancer, yes. which was aggressive, but, but taken care of. And now she's... It's such a lesson in advocating for your health. Yes. And paying attention. I think so much, especially women, are worried, you know, take the kids to the dentist and then take this person here and that and, and she that. Did do, she did all the things she was supposed yeah. to do. That's the weird well, part. Well, exactly. She went to the but, doctor. But she did, and half the women don't even yes. do that.